Good morning, good morning, good morning. Well, it's been raining here, guys, for two days now. But we're trying to make the best of it. Of course, Ryder is out here chasing me. Yeah, it's been raining pretty good. Unfortunately, it stopped some of the progress down there at the Drifting Dreamers because I can't take the tractor in there right now. Because all it's going to do is turn it into a muddy mess. What are you doing? Why are you in the sink? Midnight. Why are you in the sink? Do you want a bath? Huh? Do you want a bath? You didn't let me pet you this morning? Probably not. Nope. Uh, I was able to get some stuff done, guys. I'm actually going to start working on the plumbing in here in the bathroom area so I cleared out all of the everything that was in here all the dishes the shelving and everything all the way around and got it good to go this is where the cats like to hang out are you stretching you stretching it up midnight are you gonna let me what are y'all doing Crazy cats. Ratter, what are you doing? Ratter, uh, this isn't OnlyFans. <laughs> Y'all are crazy. Why are you biting midnight? Huh? Why are you biting her? Well, I'm going to let y'all continue playing. I'm going to continue walking. Yeah, but moved everything into this area. I've actually got Country Road Cure, Anthony and Roxanne, coming over Tuesday. Anthony's going to help me with the pecs. I've never done pecs before. So he's going to show me what he's learned. To speed it up, make it go a little faster. We're supposed to have rain most of this week coming up, too. I think Wednesday is the only day where we're not going to have rain. So pretty much digging the septic tank and finishing up the uh, Dreamers landing uh, is not going to be possible. We're pretty much almost done down there at the Dreamers landing. Uh, as long as the road don't get too saturated, we should be able to get them down there this week. I'm hoping. But with all that fresh tilled up stuff that we did... You get it to driving on it on those with those big tractors and stuff you end up with a bunch of ruts and stuff like that this part of the road right here in my driveway is holding up pretty good with all the rain gonna end up needing to get lift in here and level it out a little bit more after all this rain happens but it's packing down pretty good not too bad as you can see pretty good I haven't had a chance to walk down here yet to see what kind of damage is going on with all the weather. I'm sure some of this hill has washed out a little bit. That road's still looking pretty good. But I have definitely been keeping busy. I mopped the floors in the cabin, cleaned up in there a little bit while it was raining. And I also, edited another video for you guys on come on homesteading if you have not liked and subscribed to that channel yet make sure that you go do it because that's where we get the work done and this is the vlog channel oh it looks like we got a little rut happening right here in the center oh you decided to come join me yeah it looks like there was quite a bit of water running right through here but at least the sides where we drive held up pretty good. I got to get some ditches dug on both sides of here and crown it so to go off into the ditches to keep this kind of stuff from happening. <coughs> but at least now it's not where the tires go of the vehicle. I'd rather it go through right here than right here or right here. Huh, I wonder if we got any water in the little creek after all this rain that we've been having because it was really, really dry for a while. 
Oh yeah, you're just running. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful morning today though. I don't think we're supposed to get a lot of rain today. I'm gonna do a little bit of prep work for Anthony and Roxanne coming over. I'm gonna get the golf, court, uh, golf cart up underneath the canopy. That way when it's raining on Tuesday and they're here, Roxanne can look at it without being in the weather. And I'm gonna make sure I got all my pec supplies and uh, pieces and stuff accessible and in the building so we can work on the pecs. Make sure that I'm ready for them when they get here. Definitely looks like we had some water running. You can see all the mud. But no standing water. I didn't figure there would be, but I'm sure by the end of the week, there will be back water in the creek. Uh, I'm not going to walk all the way down here, but I do want to kind of see how this road is holding up. It's a little soft, but it doesn't look too bad so far. A lot of works went into this, guys. A whole lot of work. We still need to take out these couple of trees right here. But not too bad. Road's actually held up a little bit better than I thought it was going to. It is soft, though. I'm sinking just a little bit walking, so I'm sure we put any kind of tractor movement on here. It's not going to be good. You got to take out all these little trees right here to widen this area up just a little bit. And then get the rest of those little stumps and stuff done over there. Not too bad. But yeah, it's holding up better than I expected. They're eventually going to have to bring in a lot of rock for this driveway, but it's expensive. So it'll just be one load at a time till they get to the other end. But I'm not seeing a lot of standing water. Looks like we're looking pretty good. Not too bad. But it is definitely soft. Yeah, how soft is it? I know it, I know it. Yeah, but it's definitely been a busy time. I'm trying to uh, work around mother nature again, guys. We definitely needed the rain. My grass needed the rain tremendously. So I was glad to get it and I'm glad to get what we got coming. But of course it's never at a good time. It's always in the middle of stopping a project. But uh, hopefully, we'll be able to work around it. I believe if it don't get any worse than this, and we could take these trees down without too much disturbing the ground here, I believe we can still get the camper back there. I do believe so. We do got a little bit of rock down there that we could probably get put in the real bad areas if need be and worst case scenario also um, if the truck does start to get stuck we can hook the tractor up to the truck and pull the camper and the truck if need be hopefully we don't have to go through all of that but you never know but it is an option we do have a we do have ways to get it done I also got to take a couple of trips up front right here too because the camper is going to be coming from this way and there's no way we can make this turn right here so these trees right here are definitely going to have to go probably those right there and those that one's fine but that one and probably these two here to be able to make that corner what do you think Ryder sound like a game plan might end up taking that one down too. Don't know yet. <sighs> the work never ends, guys. Never ends. 
I can't wait to park this area out over here. This right here is probably one of the areas where the goats will end up being. They'll end up doing most of that parking out. I'll be moving the goats here soon, very soon. Uh, just as soon as I get some of these priorities done here, I'll be moving the goats into some of these thick but not too thick areas because, uh, yeah, it's there's not a lot of that fencing. So to cut a whole bunch of trails just for that small space, um, it isn't really time con conducive, I guess is the word I'm looking for. So yeah, I need to get some more fence. Still waiting to hear back from Premier One. So hopefully they get a hold of me and I can get some couple hundred more feet and make it a little bit more worth my while when I'm moving them. Because right now it's just such a small space. Big enough for them, but not really good to cut paths through the woods and stuff for them to do clearing. I might put them on a leash system, a little runner system here soon. And just kind of let them start clearing out. Oh, that's a pretty flower right there. Zoom in. Nice. Very nice, very nice. I hear the drifting dreamers walking down the street. There they come, just a walking down the street, singing do what did it did it did dum did it did. Oh, looks like he's got a chainsaw in his hand. Looks like he's fitting to do some, do some uh, well, hello. clearing. Funny seeing y'all at the crossroads, crossroads. Yeah, try to get a little bit done for uh, before we get wet again tomorrow. Yeah, we got two more days coming, and then it looks like Wednesday will be good. I just walked the first part of your drive. It's soft, but it's not too bad. If we don't disturb it with the big equipment too much, we might be able to sneak back there with that camper. Okay. But if we root it up too bad, it's probably not going to happen. I w yeah, I was worried about that for sure, About especially some of those soft spots, man. We stepped in it, and Lissa went down to her ankle. Yeah. Yeah, and that right there is why I told you to go ahead and just cut them down instead yeah. of us pushing them down. Try to keep the tractor work as minimum as possible. Before we hook up and take it all the way down there, I'm going to walk it real good. Right. Probably drive the truck down there and just kind of see how the truck does by itself. Try to stay in the same tracks. Yep. Like I was telling these guys, you guys, right there, you guys, that worst case scenario, if we get stuck, I will hook Uber up to the truck and I will pull the truck, camper, <laughs> and everything else down there. Hey, that has happened earlier this year. Yeah, when you first got here. Right. Matter of fact, right there where Lisa's standing. Yeah, right here. <laughs> I'm sorry, right here. Right here. Yep. Yeah, we went, uh, we, we took a ride into town, filled up our gas cans again. We had to restock on water, got our big five gallon water uh, jugs filled up. Also, our pump broke, so we had to get a new pump and stuff like that. So, yeah. dog food, you know how it goes. Priorities. Priorities. And like I told them, I've been in there actually in the matrix editing for those guys because I got a video coming out today. I have not done a keeping it real in about two days, so that's why I decided I'd walk out here and kind of show them why. Because yeah. right. it's been raining, yeah. and I've been busy trying to do other things, uh, just trying to keep progress going because right. I have no days to waste. Nair lit, nair lit, because Freedom Weekend's coming, Levi's coming, brother's coming, niece is coming, granddaughter's coming, Hazel's coming. Yeah. So you're saying there's a visitor? There's a few visitors <laughs> and a few events going on here on the mountain. So it's time to get at it. All right, guys. I think that's going to be about it for today. I just wanted to check in with you guys. It's been a minute. But uh, thanks for the support. Make sure that you go check out the video today on Come On Homestead. And it's probably going to be about 5 or 6 before it gets out. It's going to be a late one today, guys. Just because the weather has not been friendly with the Starlink going on up in here. But we always make it happen for you guys. So until we see each other again, guys, come on. Hey, keep it real.